today I'm opening up a $600 Funko Pop mystery box. I love these expensive mystery boxes. I know people like watching them. But before we get into the details of what this is and what could possibly be inside, I have one appetizer to do. So today's appetizer is actually a package that I got in from a viewer, more than likely. Sometimes it's viewers, sometimes it's companies, but this looks more like a, a viewer package. So I got this delivered October 17th to my UPS mailbox. If everybody wants to send me anything to unbox on YouTube, there's my UPS like business mailbox address in the description box to this video. Actually, it's in every video. You can send me whatever you want. Um, stuff randomly shows up and I've said that packages from now on that show up in my UPS mailbox, I'll just use as appetizers for future videos. I used to do like mail day type of videos, but I don't really get enough packages to really make that like a video now because I might get like two a month or something like that or one a month, you know, it's not very many. But so whatever I do, you're gonna be an appetizer for another video. So anyway, so this came from Georgia. I won't say the person name or anything, so I know for sure it is okay. It feels like there's maybe a pin in here or something. So we'll find out if this is from a viewer or from a company. I know the last thing that you saw was from a company out of Canada a few weeks ago. Oh, you see, we do have a letter. It says, hey Clint, if you open this on camera, it's okay to read aloud. I discovered your channel almost two years ago when I was looking to subscribe into the Pro Wrestling Crate. I wanted to see some of the previous boxes to get an idea of what they put in them and found your videos helpful. Here's a quick story that he thinks I'll enjoy. Upon unboxing the infamous Virgil Brawler, I listed on eBay and it sold quickly. After receiving the item, the buyer left me a neutral feedback because they expected something better than what they got. I mean, you bought Virgil. What more do you expect? I mean, it's Virgil. I reached out to them to see what the problem was, but was ignored. I still wonder what they were expecting about a Virgil brawler to be so great. Honestly, probably Virgil himself bought the brawler and was mad that it didn't sell for as much as he hoped it would, maybe. B says, he's enclosed a couple of items we thought you would like. You can read page two after opening gifts. Page three can be read off camera. Thanks for the videos. Keep posting on, and we'll keep watching. Sincerely, Eric and Susie. P.S. I hope you find a PlayStation 5 in a box soon. So, Eric and Susie, I do appreciate you. That's, what did you send? Let's check it out. The first thing we have, a keychain. Oh, that's cool. The Overlook Hotel. Come and play with us. It's 1907. Everybody knows, like, in my unbox, actually, it's it's in, like, my office when I do all my palette videos. Behind me is the huge poster of Jack Nicholson from The Shining. And, yeah, I'm a huge fan of The Shining, but, yeah, the Overlook Hotel. And then we have WWF WrestleMania Live six photo cards. Oh, very cool. King Kong Bundy, Hulk Hogan... Hogan and Andre, we got Shawn Michaels and Scott Hall, or back then he was still at Razor Ramon. Oh, that's uh, Ken Shamrock and Mick Foley. Uh, I, I guess Mankind, Mick Foley and Triple H, and then Stone Cold. So Eric and Susie, I appreciate the package. Yeah, I'll make sure and add all these WWF, back then it was WWF photos into my wrestling collection. And, Thanks for the key channel. I really appreciate it. So yeah, if you want to send me something to unbox on YouTube, feel free. My shipping address is in the description box to every video, including this one. It's time now for the mystery box. So this one is called $600 Boom Loot Mystery Boom Box Legendary Grail Vault and Exclusives. This shipped back, uh, when was this? Early August, so a couple months ago now. But here are some of the details. Each boom box contains three to four pops per box. Weight wise, I say four pops in there. It has a little bit of weight to it, a little bit of weight. The lowest value on the boom box, the time of packaging 
was 550 so you can lose 50 bucks a box the highest value is over a thousand dollars of course prices do fluctuate this box is from two months ago so prices could have gone up prices could have gone down limit of one per customer I only got one box conditions are near mint to mint or better not all boxes will come in perfect condition as some of them are vaulted and more than five years old okay see what's in this i'm kind of ready let's do this here we go vaulted legendary grail boom box three to four pops per box almost guaranteed value but i see i could lose 50 bucks on this box see what it looks like we got packing paper pull that off no peeking don't want to look okay we have a box in a box so much smaller box in a much bigger box let's see what is in this one boom box make sure i'll show you all the original tape all factory sealed up still beautiful let's do this 600 bucks yeah with these mystery boxes these are expensive they are a gamble mystery boxes are a form of gambling and sometimes you win sometimes you lose sometimes you break even and not every pop you'll get you're going to like but the beauty of it you can resell the ones you don't want too easy right you can resell them on platforms like whatnot which i sell on every weekend go to the link down below to whatnot make sure you download the totally free app make sure you give me a follow on whatnot Let's feel what I have. One hard stack. I have two hard stacks. Two hard stack, two soft protectors. Let's pull out the soft protectors first. First soft protector. Oh, nice. She Hulk. This is the Glow in the Dark LA Comic Con exclusive from 2016, six years ago. I know I finally finished the newest She Hulk series on Disney Plus. I enjoyed it. It actually was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Was there flaws in it? Of course, there's flaws in every Marvel series and movie now, it seems like. But all in all, for what it was, I really enjoyed it. And I'll probably watch it again, the whole series. It's only like, what, nine ep episodes, I think it was? Nine, right? But I liked it. I can't get this pop out. There we go. Next one. We have South Park The Coon with Cartman 2017 SDCC shared sticker. I haven't seen this pop for a while now. Looks to be in pretty good shape too for what what would I say? 2017 five year old pop? Okay, now here we go. These two combined, I think this one's like what 35 or 40. This one's probably about the same. Maybe like what 70 bucks here, maybe 80 bucks. Guaranteed 550. So there should be at least around 500 or so dollars left in these last two pops. I don't know which pop's going to be the bigger hit. They're both in hard stacks. Let's do this one first. Oh, nice. Hey, I'll take that. We have a 525 piece Freddy Funko as like Red Eyes Superman. Not bad. Not bad. Fun days 2017. I'll take that in a heartbeat. That's probably worth at least two, three hundred bucks. But actually, maybe three hundred. I'm not sure how much it's actually worth. I haven't had this. I don't think I've ever had this pop before, have I? I don't think I have, but it's a nice hit right there. It still doesn't cover the guaranteed value. I'm guessing like what, maybe three hundred? I could be off on that. I'm guesstimating. Here we go. Last one. Once again, another heart stack. Oh, very nice. We have the Black Light, the Incredible Hulk. This is the pop culture sticker version. Yeah, this thing released on the Funko Shop sold out immediately and became kind of like a mid-tier kind of a grail to a lot of people out there. Not too bad right here. Let's go ahead. Let's see PPG value. First pop, we have Cartman with the Coon 2017 SDCC share sticker coming in at $38. Pot number two, She-Hulk Glow in the Dark is coming in now at 60 bucks. Got up in value a little bit since the last time I've had this pop. Next, we have the Incredible Hulk. This actually has dropped in value a little bit. It was around 100, 105. Now it's down to 80 bucks since the last time I had this pop a few months ago. 
last pop, Freddy Funko, Kingdom Come Superman is what it's called. 525 pieces, PPG value, 470 bucks. Well, I thought it was going to be worth so grand total for this box. Coming in at $648. So, I didn't lose money. I didn't make money. I pretty much broke even the grand scheme of things. So, this was 600 bucks. And even if you know, everything here will be for sale in the future, what not live auction, like I said earlier, make sure you download what not app, drop them down below, give me a follow on there. I auction every weekend. Um, once I sell these, after I pay selling fees, obviously it's going to be pretty much a break even. So I'm happy with that. Didn't lose anything. It was obviously not the big box, but I got one very nice Freddy Funko out of this box and four, honestly, pretty nice pops right here. And I broke even. Didn't lose anything. Nothing massive. I mean, this is kind of massive though. I mean, that is an incredible hit. But nothing massive like a thousand dollar like top hit box, I'm trying to say. But yeah, I'm happy with this. Not too bad. Hope you enjoy this. I'll see you next time with some more Funko Pop mystery boxes.